Oh, morning YouTube. Let's get you to see me. Morning. Oh. In the brew shed, not been here for a while. Well, not to brew anyway. Got some lights on, I think. Don't silhouette me out, do I? We have my folder. Today's brew day. Not quite sure what to brew today. We'll have to have a look for the book. So I store all me, uh, oh well, <laughs> me decent menus. I just print them out in this Dennis the Menace folder that I've had since I was like five or something. Well, not five. Uh, so we've got things like the ginger fire. I don't know what to brew. Um, barking mad. They were actually uh, in reverse order. Zombie dust was nice. I can do me old zombie dust again. But I'm thinking, I've got a lot of hops in. I got some grain yesterday and I didn't, wasn't sure what to do. Oops, kit. Nelson Sarvin was nice as well. Ginger fire again. Oatmeal stout. Yeah, I'm not doing that at the moment. Uh, got my water treatment, or sorry, water analysis kit. I've got to send it off. Another Nelson Sarvin. Dead Pony Club 2. That's an extract. Simcoe, Mosaic, Christmas one, Dead Pony Extract, Dead Pony All Grain, well, Ginger, oh that's it, some stuff at the back, <laughs> Dropkick Nate, sort of. Alright, right, let me find this and come back. So here we are, there's nothing in here for a 15 litre All Grain Dead Pony Club, something like that. So I've got the old brew dog book out and I've whisked through. Thought about making a gamma ray, but I haven't got all the uh, haven't got all the hops for gamma ray, so we've got all the, all the malt. So let's go back to Dead Pony Club. One thing about it, they'd never tell you how much water to put in. So I thought great, I'll just follow this exactly to the instructions, which I did years ago, so, sort of. And it's bloody brilliant. I've brewed it many times, but I've only done one all grain, so it's a bit strange. So they don't tell you how much water. Yeah, there's 20 litres, but I could work it out, couldn't I? I suppose I should work it out. Or I'll just follow my original recipe and stick in 10 litres of water. Now, why am I not using Brewsmith? That's because my licence has run out. And, uh, of course, the email said, yeah, you can use it in trial mode. You can't go back to trial mode. So I deinstalled it, reinstalled it, yeah, yeah, you've had a licence, you need to pay again. So, Brad, no, I'm not, <laughs> I can't go in your software, I can't scale it, so I'll be looking for a freebie. I'm not going to pay $15 a year, I know it's not much, but I'm just too tight. So, uh, yeah, I can't use Beersmith anyway, I don't even like the software. I'm going to try and wangle this, it's going to be uh, a hope and a prayer, and uh, hopefully beer will come out. There you go, right. Uh, we're on the induction plate again today, and we're going to have to use a big pot. So first of all, if I use the original recipe I did years ago, I need 10 litres of cold water. And uh, yeah, I'll start that. So this is it. We've got, I haven't got some crystal. It's like, no, I've always got crystal. Oh, I haven't got any. For some reason, I must have used it and never realised. So I've got Karagold, all right? It's going to have some colour in it. God knows how it's going to come out. But then we've got uh, 1.5, 2.5, 2.8 kilograms of um, Maritotta. And I should have had some Caramel, uh, 0.63 kilograms. So I haven't got that. So I've got 480, so 0.48 kilograms. So a bit less of that, some of that, and some gold. So, hey, I don't know what's going on here. Are uh, the pots on? Um, bring the bag, small pot to mash in, it says 10 litres, I've got about 6 in there but I will top it up later, let's see how we go, we, we need to put some more in, oh more water we can do once this is all in, it does look a lot of, of grain for that little water, I might put some more in, this is a wing and a prayer brew day, right, the best sort of brew day, so yep you can see, really well prepared, I have some yeast though, um, Let's come in after I've uh, doed in. Well, I've doed in. I put did put ten liters of water in, and uh, gosh, this is really big and oh, just like porridge as it should be. 
I think I've got rid of all the dough balls. There wasn't many today. He says, and he thought I saw one there. So, right, let's check the temperatures on this. Check the temperature. Yeah, it's looking good. Looking good. Doesn't look too bad on colour. Um, temperature slightly high. Slightly high. 63, 66.4, I was probably aiming for. Let's look at the book. What does it say? 62. Right, well, it'll cool down, it's fine. We'll get in there, it's fine. Uh, it says 60, oh, 75 minute mash. That gives me time to go and cut the grass. Right, well, let's put the lid on and leave it here for a bit longer. Well, the mash is over, so I've got it all in the brew pot now. It's quite full, actually, and uh, I'm, I am winging it a lot. Um, I was going to do another video. Oh, let's put the fan off. Fans off, put the pots on, right. I was going to do another video on this, so um, if you remember, will it fit in? Let's uh, go. So this one is hot spider. Okay, it's a bit long, it's also a bit dirty. Uh, it's a bit, a bit tall. Okay, so it doesn't fit in my brew pot. Um, if that was on the top there, by the time it it hangs on the side, it, it bangs on the bottom. So it's not ideal. So, what have I done? Yes. I thought it's little brother. <laughs> it's a mini one. Now, a good thing about this is it'll go in my big brew pot or my little brew pot. So I'll be using this today, hopefully. Um, to hang about there, about half. Well, three quarters way down. So it was to be another video, but I've had to stick it in here because I'm going to have to use it today. Um, yep, it's uh, from China. Cheap. I don't know how much it was now. I might find a link, and if I can remember, I'll post it on. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this now before that starts to boil, and I need to get the, uh, the hops out as well. So uh, I better get a move on. Hindsight is a great thing. This pot is taking, well, about 40 minutes to boil, 45 minutes to boil. Time's March, it's three o'clock. I was hoping to be in the pub by now. So this is up to 89 degrees, so it's a little bit off. When it gets going, it should be all right. I think I perhaps need to insulate it. Um, got all the hops out. Uh, there's only a five, that's right, a 60 minute addition, which is five of Simcoe, five of Citra. It's a 30 minute edition, same again, 5 grams of each, and then the rest is just dry hop um, under the book, and that's what I did last time. Right, it should be about a boil now. Oh, we are. Awesome. We've missed a hot break, we've gone straight to a boil. Just start. That way, there, well, we've got a boil on not steaming up so we're going to stick 60 minute in which as I said is 5 of Simcoe and 5 of Citra. Um, let's try the hop spider. The hop fits in really well. I'm never convinced if hop spiders restrict some of the, uh, the grains but I do I have to just throw them in or do I throw them in the hop spider? It's in the hop spider. Okay. That's a 60 minute edition, so we've got 30 minutes now, so I uh, better start the old timer. Just turn the fan off. Bet you can hear me now. So, uh, not as much of a vigorous boil as I should really have. I do need to insulate this tub, right. Well, it's done for 30 minutes. Smelling rather nice. So we've got uh, the next edition. Well, I'm technically the final edition, so uh, yeah, five grams of citra, five grams of Simcoe, so they can go into the hot spider. Five. Um, I'll just show you the uh, my notes I made for last time. So when I first did this beer, all them years ago, it was uh, April 16. Uh, I made a note. So uh, pre-boil was uh, 10:18, post-boil 10:36. So I did a pre-boil gravity reading, which came out at 10.27. So 
So this is actually stronger, even though I think I've got a lot more volume and I actually think I've got too much volume. So um, it's going to be interesting because I don't know really how long I brewed this or boiled this for. I think it was an hour originally in uh, April 2016. Yeah, it must be an hour. Can't see it on there because I just can never read the bloody thing. I just oh, I hate the layout. Whatever. It's got to be one hour boil, isn't it? Yeah. Bile time at top there, 60 minutes. So, uh, yeah. Uh, interesting that, that today's brew is actually uh, higher on the old specific gravity. Okay, so yesterday uh, I went to a different brew shop. Now, where I live, um, all the brew shops have shut down. There's only there's one which shut down and moved uh, some of its sales into a, a sort of handy shop next door uh, I've not been in the handy shop um, but I tend to go to Leyland so I, I live in a, an area northwest of England called uh, to, near Wigan um, and I drove to Leyland to get my uh, grains now yesterday we went out we, we had a busy day yesterday and we just popped down to St Helens to the wine loft um, and it's not a bad size brew shop limited grains but the uh, woman in the shop said look just give the bell we've got loads of grain might be on the shop uh, you know racks but just come down no, give us a shout and we'll get it all ready for you and the prices were really good actually um, on the same day I actually got Brew UK had a place in order um, I've got my water treatment or water analysis uh, kit through and that's because of Murphy's in the sun got to get that sorted this week um, because onto a NEPA and it recommends you get your water additions right for that. Uh, secondly, when I was in the shop, I got some protoflock tablets. I've never had any before. I always use uh, they're not the proto something else. But they're over there. I've got some Irish moss. Anyway, I've had that before. Uh, that's what I normally use. I didn't get any. I've got some. Um, so yeah, I got some uh, protoflock tablets. So I'll use them for the first time today. Uh, I think they're £2.50 for 10 which I thought was alright actually. And of course no postage, which is a boon. Uh, postage is really expensive in the UK. A lot of these places do free postage of course, but you've got to spend you know, 30 quid or something like that. So Matt asked this place if he can get me a bag of grain. Um, the grains I've got, got a really good date on them, so uh, I think they're quite fresh. Um, we've got a WhatsApp group uh, on the old Moby. Um, the brewers in the UK, it, it, brewers in Wigan, sorry. It actually, the, the night they do it conflicts with another, some other activity I do, so I can't actually get down there a lot, but they suggested it. So I'm gonna try them out for a while. If not, I can always go back to uh, Leyland or get them from Brew UK or the Malt Miller or, oh, there's loads of them, the, you know, I just share the love. One thing I'm not probably gonna be able to do today is chill this down, because it's a large volume. Um, I might have to do a new chill cube and then put it in the fermenter tomorrow. Uh, I probably won't film that though. Uh, I'll try and get the ABV or the specific gravity before I put in the fermenter because I can forget. Uh, so this one, there is no uh, late edition hops, that's it. It's all dry hopping from here onwards and there's quite a lot. Um, if you look in the brew dog book or is it uh, download dog or whatever they call when they let you download the PDF. Uh, you can always download that and have a look. Right, enough waffling, I'll come back at the end. Well, brew day's over. I um, really had some problems today. Uh, that big pot just doesn't really want to boil. Um, looking back, I should have really stuck out the big brewery and used boil kettle. Uh, it would have easily boiled that volume. So, uh, hey, well, live and learn. Maybe next time if we do it again, I'll uh, either do it on the gas in the house, on the hob, or I'll use the big brewery, the uh, boil kettle. Um, target was 10.40, it was slowly creeping up. I've had an extra half hour boil, so it's been a 90 minute boil, and it still was creeping up about every 15 minutes. It was like one or two points, so I went and sod it. So I put a little bit of brew sugar in, and uh, within a few minutes it was 10.42 target was 10.40 so I'm happy with that you know, it's a bit cheating really, a bit of brew sugar I suppose he wanted using up so um, it's a, a larger volume I'm not going to be able to uh, chill that down 
no, not tonight. So it's got a nil chill cube, just behind me. So uh, what are we on now? Uh, Sixty-five centigrade. Um, so really, it's been a pretty good brew day, but it's long. What is it now? Quarter past six. I didn't start till after twelve, so six hours. About right. Um, I need to get my beer smith either renew the subscription or transfer it to another package. So that'll be this week's uh, investigation, probably. Uh, other than that, it's been okay. So as usual, good, bad, and ugly. Good, been all good. Had no issues. Uh, bad, nothing, nothing ugly. You know, the only one thing was that it was taking a long time to boil, but I did a larger volume. I think that's the largest volume I did. That's a 25 litre tub. Um, probably 18, maybe 19 litres, which is the target's 20. It's very hard to measure that brew pot. No sight glass. Again, I should have used my boil kettle because that's got a sight glass on it. Uh, okay, so I think that's been pretty good. Um, tomorrow I will put it in the fermenter and I'm going to use USO5 yeast, uh, which is obviously my go to yeast. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's sign off, eh? This is Mark. Hovdog Brewery signing off and as always, stay thirsty. <laughs>